Hey guys, 29th of July, summer's getting by. Um, hunting's been pretty good. Um, we have been getting some rain, but the creeks are not up. Uh, so, actually going down, trees are taking up a lot of water. So, been able to find some fairly interesting things. Let's go ahead and get started. I got a lot here. This is a chopping stone here. It, um, it's made of granite. Um, polished off really nice. Um, beveled. You see the beveling right here. I don't get these things too sharp. It's kind of a chop slash crush kind of tool. Nuts and grains and seeds. Was nippled out right here. It's probably for your thumb. I think the person was right-handed and just kind of laid her thumb right in there. That little dimple. The other hand and fingers up there on the top. This is another one of these pole sanders that uh, I did a segment on uh, maybe a month ago. A pretty nice piece here. Run these poles right through this groove here and take the bark off. Pretty well polished on, on the rest of this. It's real gritty right in here, though. You can see it. These are two really nice polishing stones. This is a kind of a speckled granite with some really big nice elongated crystals in it real pretty stone it's been well worked even though it's a small piece you see the crystals really pretty there's your polishing surface there you put a lot of work into this thing tailed it off in the back it's, I've seen this style before. It's going to slope down on the front and back and grooved on the sides. It's a pretty piece. Here's another really nice little blue granite piece. This thing is in really super shape. I don't think this, this tool was used much at all. It's a polishing surface there. Familiar shape. Got some garnets in it. Really pretty stone. This piece here is, um, took me a little while to figure it out. I knew it was a little bit unusual when I picked it up, but, um, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I think they use this thing to heat shafts with, uh, arrow shafts. It's got just a lot of sap on this thing. Polished on the sides. A tool like this, they would just use to heat up the, uh, the shafts and try to straighten them out. look for these little things they use a lot of little stones too um kind of a crudely made grinding piece here you can see how this person chipped this thing out and he used some major um, hammering on this thing in order to knock these big chips out they knew what they were doing they knew how to do it Packed on this side. That's your polishing, grinding surface there. A little crude piece, but really interesting. 
Didn't put a lot of time into this piece. Normally they would go from this process to a pecking process, uh, removing a little bit smaller material and then a polishing. Didn't do it on this one though. They were in a hurry. And here's some quartz pieces and these are kind of rare. We're finding these at the uh, trout pond site. This is natural leaching up here. I do know the difference. Some people tell me I don't, but. And then pecking and chipping on the sides here to form this thing. A little leech in there too. And this one doesn't have a whole lot of leaching. It does have a fair amount of sandblast and wear on it. Again, a familiar shape. It's a grinding surface there. This is a quartzite piece here, and actually this is a really nice tool. I, I kept looking at this thing when I pulled it out of the creek, and I said, you know, I'm going to leave it. And then I, the more I got looking at it, I think I'm going to take that with me. It's, uh, it's actually a little unusual and a nicely made piece. It's, it's a grinding surface there. Really good material, quartzite. But kind of a little unusual design. That's one thing I like about tool hunting. You just you just find different different ways of making tools. They're not always the same. They probably held it for the most part on the side, but they probably held it on the on the ends also. Blackstone. It's the grinding or polishing piece here. It's as slick as glass all the way around this thing. There's a bird stone here. Really nice piece here too. It's uh, I'm not sure on the material. It's got some green in it. It's kind of speckled, a little speckled green and blue. Again, I think this is a type of tool, but I call them bird stones. Polished all the way around this thing. This gets into uh, some scrapers. And most of these are going to be probably for either conditioning hides or, or for pottery work. But these are black stone pieces. You've seen the ground edges on them and... This one's got a bit of a bevel. Bigger one here. This is, might have been able to scrape some meat with that one. That one's uh, pretty sharp. Pretty sharp edge on that one. Here's one made of soapstone, and I, I don't know. It might have been thicker on up here on this end, but all been worked down to a thinner area right in here on both sides. Just a pretty piece. I don't know, I'm not sure what they might have used this one for. Soap stems are rather soft. I don't know. And these are all little finger held polishing stones here I'm not gonna pick them all up but here's one that I don't know what this material is it's really heavy um, see where it's all been chipped down here and this is not unusual to find these this design it's um, 
if it's been, it'd be held like that. And there's a polishing surface there on this piece. But real heavy stone, I don't know. Um, I'm not real sure what it is. Kind of rusted. A black stone piece here with a duck head shape. Highly crystalline. There's a quartzite piece here. This is a nice piece. That's the top. Sides have all been polished. It's a polishing surface there. A granite piece. Here's a little dual material piece. Some blue granite on top and uh, I think quartzite on the bottom. A little small piece, but they've chipped this thing. I guess where you can wrap your fingers around it. Finger held granite piece here. Polishing surface there. And we'll show one more here. Here's a sandstone piece. Little duck head piece. It's a polishing surface there. Real gritty. Snow. Held just like that. Seen these things before. These are soapstone pieces. I'm not real sure. Don't know. Little trowels here, this quartzite. See the wear right in here, these little pottery trowels. Chipped on the sides. Here's your grain stone. This piece here is pretty interesting. You see where they're trying to get to that green. And they've chipped it out up there in a kind of a saw, saw blade shape right there. They're knocking some of it out here on the back. They've chipped it. I've got another stone that's a lot like this, but um I don't know. I don't know what it was about this. Uh, it's a soft mineral. Let's ground that down. Another one. Don't know what they wanted it for and what they used it for.
One more thing to look at here. Uh, this is a this is a blade. This is a basalt. Um, it's a little better look at it. You can see where they've chipped it down here and then chipped it here. It's a real hard uh, material. I don't know if any of you guys ever find basalt, but uh, very hard and it naps. Um, fairly decent, not great, but decent. Um, on this side here, they've chipped it down. Then the back side of this thing is polished. All the stuff, some, some type of blade. I'm trying to get a good look at this thing. It's really hard to, there it's a little bit better. Pretty crude, but you know, probably effective. Form does not need to exceed function. And that was the case with most tools and points. Um, I'm sorry to disappoint some people. This is another basalt piece. This is a scraping blade. It's chipped off on the end. Broke, unfortunately. This is another piece here of basalt scrape, scraper. See, it's really hard stone. You can say it naps decently. They nap these things and polish them down. They didn't do this one, but um. Anyway, that's that's all I got today, guys. Um, I'm gonna be off on vacation for a little while, and once I get back, I'll get in the creek and uh, find some more things you guys look at probably some of this stuff some of this stuff almost all this is new and uh, we'll take a look at that when i get back i hope you guys are doing well and um, we'll talk to you later